So in our last video, which completed the short block reconstruction series for the Sonata 2.4 liter motor, we put in new pistons, rings, connecting rods, had the engine brought to a machine shop, and they oversized the board by a half a millimeter. They polished the journal surfaces for the crankshaft, and we put in new journal bearings. The first part of the next series to complete the long block, we're going to be installing the oil pump along with the oil pump ladder and then the oil pump chain. So we need to clean the mating surfaces of the oil pump ladder to the engine block. So if there's any residual RTV, just use a razor. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just try to scrape as much of the RTV off as you can. And then clean the surface with a solvent like brake clean to make sure it's an oil-free connection. You want to avoid getting RTV in these oil return cavities. You got long bolts and short bolts. So the short bolts go right here. And then you got these long bolts over here. So I put light torque on all the bolts under 10 foot pounds, get the initial torque. And now I'm putting on the first row of torque which is 15 foot-pounds. Okay, 19 foot pounds. And now final torque 105 degrees angle torque. Okay, these are Woodruff key slots that hold the crank sprocket in place, so we're going to reinstall the Woodruff keys. Okay, I just rotated the engine so I get better access to the grooves for the Woodruff key. Okay, that's the Woodruff key.
you got a dot right here. That dot indicates the front of the gear. We're going to put the pulley bolt back on so we can rotate the engine so that the number one cylinder is at top dead center. That should be top dead center. So this is your number one piston, top dead center. Your Woodruff keys should be approximately 270 degrees from the zero mark. So you have to rotate the oil pump so that when this dot is lined up with this dot down here, so right now we're out of alignment because this notch isn't, in, isn't lined up with that groove. So we just keep rotating. And there we go. That dot is lined up with that dot, and that notch, or that groove, is lined up with that notch. Now that we have the crankshaft at top dead center, number one cylinder, and the oil pump aligned, now it's just a matter of putting on the chain. This white portion of the chain lines up with this dot on the gear and then we just take the gear off line it up with the paint mark here this dot with that paint mark and there it's all lined up okay now we'll put on the chain guides So I put in the chain guides for the oil pump. They're only 10 millimeter bolts that secure it. Only need 10 foot pounds of torque. And this is your chain tensioner. So I just squeeze it in like that. And push the guide out of the way. And just get the thread started. Now this hole over here, if you want, you could put like a needle in here and now hold the the guide pin or the, or the tensioner pin from coming out, but I just worked the uh, tensioner on. So these are only 10 millimeter bolts. They only need to be torqued on at 10 foot pounds. Now you can put the nut on the water pump, it's reverse threaded, and using an impact tool, 17 millimeter six point socket. So because it's reverse threaded, you gotta go counterclockwise to the left. And that's it. Next episode, we'll be putting on the cylinder head. And we're done.